Welcome back for more reptiles, archery, engineering. Ladies and gents, have fun and please enjoy. Hey ladies and gents, there's a scorpion here at 6.55, 6 and 56, I think. 6.54. So right now, it is 4 degrees outside that is freezing but luckily I put my uh, put the heat mat from boys on I put the heat mat um, I'm keeping my boys warm don't want them to get cold today it is 4 degrees and it's just freezing But luckily I'm not in the caravan, that's the main thing. <laughs> I used to live in a caravan when I first moved here. Uh, in the backyard. And literally the caravan felt like a giant freezer. And I was freezing my body off. Couldn't go outside when it's freezing fucking cold. So what I did, use a big plastic boiler for a toilet. That is really inappropriate, but don't worry about that. That's how to stay warm and just stay in the place where you are. And just use something for a toilet so going to main, it's just, fuck. But right now it is getting to that point where it's getting cold and yeah, not good. So right now it is Wednesday today so hopefully it is like good, we'll be coming on soon, hopefully. Now yesterday I done three, uh, three more episodes of my series of series 2 of Dial Light and they weren't really good that I am really happy about and yeah I got no problem with that but in perfect picture that's the main word for it And my little brother's got his new car because his Dodge is off the road for don't know how many days he's got, but yeah. But he's got a new car. And literally this one is from Fast and Furious the movie. Literally I seen that car on the movie and it's the same one. Literally. It's beautiful. And it's a Volkswagen anyway, but I'm not a Volkswagen car person, I'm a Subaru car person. <laughs> but yeah. Two more days and my parts will arrive for my car so I can get my car up and run and drive it. Instead of I need to put a towel over the whole battery before the cold kills the battery but right now the battery's inside the car keep them warm from there but literally it's getting cold day by day fuck <laughs> uh, uh, the top temperature uh, the top temperature it's gonna reach is 12 so it's not gonna get any warmer today so that's why I turn the heat mount on for my boys. I might turn the heat lamp on. Because it's 97. Is it 7? Let me have a check for you guys. Six fifty-nine, one minute to 7 o'clock. So I was right. That is good. So right now. I'm going to watch um, Brian's son with a epic reptile room 
Okay. Uh, epic reptile room, that's cool. So, yeah. If anything special is going on today, I'll go to it and film it. But right now, it's just plain dead right now, so, yeah. Um, the reason why I put the clothes there, if I'm going somewhere special. But right now I'm wearing my army cargoes and my old shirt because I held my dad with the um, plumbing. So I'm going to do that for my dad. I'm going to help him this morning. Then, yeah, it's going to be absolutely busy today. So right now I'm going to watch... Um, Brian Brazit and Brazik's um, son, and I'll see you guys later. Till then, my my boys is gonna stay in the warm for the whole day. It's not gonna get any warmer, so they're gonna stay in the warm anyway. So I'll see you guys later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I, I am. really ready for today it's 10 o'clock right now and is that it yeah 10 o'clock in the morning so right now yeah you know, I'm just waiting for my parents to get back is they just went to town about a couple of minutes ago so <laughs> yeah so right now just checking it if there's anything I can do. And yeah, I really got nothing to do. I already done all my chores yesterday and right now I got nothing to do. And I told my dad I'd done the lawn about a couple of days ago and he said it needs mowing again. How it needs mowing again because I mowed it about three days ago. You know? My dad lost track of time there because I'd done the lawn about a couple of days ago when my mum and dad and sister and niece was in town. I'd done the lawn, I'd done the washing up, I'd swept, I vacuumed, I'd done all this and yeah, it's just, no one knows I'm doing stuff that is really exciting. Yeah, right now I'm just bored. <laughs> I think I need to pack up all this dry, dry stuff away and do some more washing up. Look at this, this is all from last night's dinner. My little brother was here as well, so he had dinner. He drove his car home, but tomorrow he needs to re-register re his new car while he's got it. It's a Volkswagen. It's one of the sports type Volkswagens. That is from Fast and Furious. It's, it's not a bad little car. It's actually a pretty neat little car, but it's really fast on the wheels. Hopefully my dad, I hope my little brother doesn't lose his point because there's a whole lot of cops around these days that I noticed and right now it's not funny. My car's off the road still for, holy fuck, it's been a couple of weeks now. And it's nearly the end of this week, so three weeks it's been off the fucking road, so far out so right now just checking everything everything's okay and I'm, I'm not doing any chores I promised my dad oh no my dad's glasses oh fuck I need to clean them oh that's scrubby my niece actually slobbered and 
licked my dad's glasses and look at that. That's fucking disgusting. I need to clean those. Far out. So, yeah, I got nothing to do. My parents told me to relax, but I can't relax yet. My sister with the mental health, she drives me out the fucking wall. So, yeah, I, I, I literally got nothing to do. I, I have nothing to do. I done the vacuuming, sweeping, done all that yesterday. Mow the lawn, that was a couple of days ago. And all that, and I got nothing to do, literally got nothing to do. Except a couple of days from now, I'm going to put my car back together again and get it running. Hopefully. Because it's just sitting there. Without being driven, I need to go to the fuel station and blow up those tires because look at how flat are they. Fuck's sake. I haven't touched the poor beast for a couple of days. Oh, fuck. It's one of those times where your car fucks up because the original owner is one son of a bitch that treats the car bad and you try and bring the car back to life. It's one of those times where you do that. Me, I, my first bad car was a 1996 Ford Falcon, the EL Falcon, and it was full of rust in the doors, speakers, the whole car because it's been in the city. Um, my second car, Holden the Commodore, one big fucking pile of shit, it was a VX body with a VT motor underneath. The VT, fucking pile of shit, broke down on me at the supermarket back at Bird Desert, Queensland, back at 2015. And I was not happy. I was stuck there for three hours trying to start the bitch. <laughs> then I sold that car, got a Land Rover that was in bits and pieces. I put that thing back together again with new gaskets, new pistons, new everything. And when it was time to move, I drove it with all my stuff in it and got to the new place back in New South Wales right here. Um, that was back at M Musselbrook. It broke down. <laughs> it literally... It was one fucking pile of shit that was only being used once. Literally once. Now I sold that, got myself an RX-8 Mazda. It was a beautiful sports car. Except I was learning the aircraft way where you had to push the pedal to 1,000 to 3,000 3, revs and count for 30 seconds, then turn it off. So the fuel dries up and wherever you want to start it up and turn the key, fuel goes into the start, you start it up and goes like that. I keep flooding the whole thing, <laughs> and literally. And it was back at 2020 I sold that car. And Wait, nah, it was right here I sold it. Eh, I don't give a shit. But, yeah, um... It was a pile of crap as well because I don't know how to start up a Cesta engine that is an aircraft engine in a car. Then I got the beauty one I'm driving right now that is at the front in the driveway for three weeks. After the belt snapped, the tensioner froze. That is one beautiful car I drove for two years. Since 2022, when I first brought it, I got it on my birthday, but it arrived on the 15th. 
to now, yeah, about two years I have it now, but yeah, now it does not want to work until I get the new parts, and then that's a bitch. But I am not going to get a, another car. I'm going to stay with the Subaru. The Subaru is beautiful, it's fast, it's stylish, and it's right for me. I'm proud to drive it. But right now, it's like, you miss driving it because those kind of problems. That car's been hell and back. Never been changed, never been serviced. And the books says it's been serviced. None of it's been serviced at all. About last year on June, I had an oil leak. It was the right right head gasket that blew. Then when I fixed that, the left head gasket blew. Plus a bolt missing. Then I had to replace that and the bolt. Um, yeah, I replaced every fucking bit on that car. It's not funny. Even the spug plugs, I had to replace those because the old ones, fuck's sake, all fucking burnt. So. Yeah, I'm slowly fixing it up. If I have to replace the whole engine, I will. But, yeah. Not yet. This car still got a whole lot of kilometers to burn. I have not drove it for that long. I drove it for two... About a year. This is the second year. 2022... On the 15th of August, on October, I got it. So, a year I've been driving it. And this is the second year I ha have it now. So, yeah. Wait, October? Yeah, about a year. So, this October, this year, 2024, is the second year. So, <laughs> I got no problem with that. This washing machine's got to go off. <laughs> it's noisy, believe me. Oh my fucking god. Get out of here. <laughs> when you have a small laundry, there's a fucking pain ass to get into the door when there's the two baskets near the door. And you have to buzz through to get to the washing machine. But right now, it's sunny and blue outside. Yesterday, unexpected thunderstorm that only lasted for two minutes and it's gone. <laughs> so that, that is one bitch of a thing. Didn't I even shoot out lightning? Just only thunder and gone. Just absolutely disappeared. So right now, I don't know what to do. Um, yeah, you know, I got nothing to do. If my car was up and run right now, I got driving. But right now, I'm waiting for the bloody parts to arrive. They just sent it yesterday. It's going to be arriving here on Thursday at the airport at the checkout. Then it's going to come all the way here on Friday, so hopefully, if Toll doesn't fuck up at the destination again, I don't want to drive to Toll and then it just fucking kill them because they don't want to deliver and deliver all the way here. It's a bitch. So Toll is the one lazy friggin delivery service that doesn't do shit I'm not really happy about it they 
treat my dad bad when he was working there for eight days. When the eighth day actually came, they wanted my dad to clean the truck shit and my dad said no because he's new. And when the ninth day came, my dad wants to go over there and shut it and he told them he's leaving and he can, they can shove it up their fucking ass. Excuse the bad French. But, yeah. My dad wasn't really happy about toll. Trying to find work for my dad that has proper pay and good people with good attitudes. Doesn't happen here. In, in Australia, yeah, you get treated like crap. And literally, my dad was a trucker when he was young, and now he's over age. No one wants to do that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So right now, I'm going to just wait for my dad. I gotta help him with the coffee van. I gotta do the plumbing. Is yeah, it's just one thing after another. It's not funny at all. So right now, I am gonna wait, and I'll see you guys later. Till then, I gotta wait for my family to arrive back home. So I'll see you guys later. All right, ladies and gents, I am. About to finish up the washing, uh, washing the dishes, and the thing is, I'm active again. <laughs> Plus the dish, <laughs> look at how much bent is that? That's supposed to be straight, not like that. So I done a little washing up, but the thing is. That's going to break off. I'm guessing that's going to break off if I put any more knife and forks in that. Um, <laughs> that's the thing. I do a lot. I help my mum and dad a lot. And I don't do like my sister does. Just sit on her fucking ass and doing jack shit. I help mum and dad around every day. So... Yeah, I'm gonna put you guys up here because I gotta get the washing washing basket right over here. Wash basket, I mean, with all the blankets and stuff. Holy fuck! See? <laughs> Plus, I had to flick my hair back because my hair was in the eyes so I had to wet my fingers run it down and run it from my hair and actually do stuff now I'm going to um, get the dry washing off while well, I hanged up yesterday when it was raining it's all dry now so it's all good um, plus I gotta do the washing up still because there's a little bit left plus there's the big dirty dishes in there I need to put this washing liquid in there and shirt to on and do all that but I'll let mum do that first because I didn't know how to operate that kind of machine so right now letting the light through here I can actually see except dark like that that you can't see shit she needs to open those blinds and open those curtains so she can have light. So the LD... LD lights. So much better with light coming through the windows from sunlight. It's much better. What the fuck is that? Okay, I just saw something blacker on the t camera. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. So, yeah, I'm gonna finish up washing up. 
Well, after I get the dry clothes off, I'm going to hang up the wet washing and get all my, uh, get all my niece's nappies off the line. There's about 30 to 35 nappies she went through in one day. She's a pillhead. Whenever she wets a nappy, she goes through 30 fucking nappies in one day. Holy shit. <laughs> no, literally. So, I'm gonna do what my mum wants me to do, do my task, and just, yeah. I'm an engineer, so I'm not gonna operate in the coffee shop. I'm gonna do my engineering. Because engineers, if you don't have a coffee certificate, you can't work in the coffee shop. So what my dad is saying, I can have that big trailer while I'm working with him and I can use it as a work trailer. But first things first, I need to make those kind of sheet metal into side panels for the wheels. So I can use those plastic ones wherever I make my um, tie pen. My tie pen will be having two back axles and one front axle. But the front axle is the steering. And it's going to be one magnificent fucking vehicle. But I already got the I already got the blueprints already worked out. So I'm, I need to get these dry washing off, uh, dry clothes off, and then hang out the wet ones. So... Yeah, what's the time anyway? 12.42, shit. Okay, it's nearly the end of the day. Oh, fuck me. That, excuse the back French, but... <laughs> I am doing a lot, and I got nothing to do, so... It's a pretty good sunny day. I might go for an afternoon walk after I do all my chores. Uh, I gotta walk my dog anyway. Well, uh, yeah, I gotta walk her today. Can't leave it. Plus, my car will be on the road on Friday. Gotta put the new parts on, get all aligned and all tuned up and all um, timed. And then my car will be back on the road. And then I can take my car again. It's a fucking pain ass because whatever I'm going to Nicky's with in my dad's car, I have to squish myself in because the big baby seat for my niece. Fuck's sake. I had to cramp up. Oh, my right shoulder fucking crack. Ow, I should not do that. Ow. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I felt that. So right now I'm going to hang up the washing and do some other shit. Yeah, my boy's been asleep all day, so it's a cool day for them. So they've been asleep for the whole morning to now. So yeah, it's starting to get cold. It was about four degree, uh, four degrees early in the morning yeah that is really cold right now the temp right now let me check it for you guys um, alright temperature it's about 17 and it's gonna drop to oh shit yep drop back to 4 tomorrow morning oh great <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck that that's got to be cold again uh, great <laughs> so I'm going to hang up the washing then do the rest of the washing up the dishes and then I'm um, totally done except I haven't played games for a couple of days on my gaming channel um because I ran out of things to play. 
Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I might try that out, but I haven't played Assassin's Creed for a while. I need to get back to, to it anyway. Um, yeah. Got a couple of games I haven't played for that long, so yeah. So right now, I'm going to get my boots on and I'm going to hang out the washing and I'll see you guys later. Well, these gents, it is free. I'm a four day you stupid bastard. Uh, it's my phone. Getting up fucking space. No, I got no space to freaking put anything right now. Yeah, well. So, right now, my boys actually slept all day today. I put the heat mail in earlier in the morning about 5 o'clock or oh, after that hey big boys you to sleep for that hey so right now I am going to help my dad for the afternoon so let's turn this off So right now, I am going to help my dad, and I got to do a lot of stuff, but I think, I, I think I've done a lot today. I've done the washing up, the rest of the washing up is from yesterday. There's a whole lot of knife and forks, so yeah. So I hope you guys... No, I'm busy, so I'll see you guys when I get back. Till then, I gotta help my dad first, and then, yeah, so I'll see you guys when I get back. Well, ladies and gents, I am done for the day. Just done some welding for my dad. Ah, uh, far out. Even this, this thick leather jacket, well, yeah, it's leather. It feels like he, he got a, a like a bulletproof vest with a let me say a full pack of bulletproof um, padding that is thick <laughs> literally it's not funny to carry on your um, whole body far out um, but yeah I done some welding for my dad there's only one rack today for the tanks. The other one will be done tomorrow because, yeah, it's just getting too late because daylight savings have ended and now it's getting dark really early right now. But look at the sunset over there. It's got that beautiful orange color. But the sun is right over here. <laughs> but you can actually see the sun set orange and purple rover there so that's beautiful so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys loved it so tomorrow will be an easy day for me again and my sister is going to taste tomorrow for her last day because Next week is the holidays for her. So, right now, um, everyone saw the eclipse about yesterday, well, the day before that, and everyone cheered. I don't know why they cheered for the eclipse. To me, the eclipse always means bad things, like strange, uh, strange creatures coming out of the darkness from the 16th century what I read from real true stories but yeah so I'll I'll see you guys tomorrow till then my car will be up and run Friday or Saturday afternoon and I'll be driving again hopefully it starts up um but yeah be having a good day 
So my boys, they've been asleep all day. It's been, it's been cool. It's been cold. It's actually been cool outside all day. A little bit of warmth, but not that much. But the rest was cold. So that's why these two slept all day today. No feeding, because when I was trying to feed them, they went back to the sleeping spot and they went back to sleep. So, yeah. This is the second month of autumn. Last month of autumn is, to, is next month. Then when winter hits, it's going to drop below minus. So, I need to keep on my beer dragons each night. And each day, because when minus numbers come up when winter hits it's going to be a worry for me because my bear dragons they need a warmth to um move but i'll keep on my bear dragons every time so i'll see you guys next time until then it's been a good day been a really good day so far so yeah But I can't wait for my car to be ar arriving back on the road again. After the new parts arrive on Friday, hopefully I'll put them back, I'll put them in, or my dad put them in on Friday, or Saturday afternoon so I can go to Archery on Sunday. Saturday, I don't really feel like to go on Saturdays, but... Yeah, I haven't been there for Saturdays, but I've been there for Sundays, but archery is archery. I haven't been to archery for a couple of Wednesdays, and I missed a lot, so, yeah. But I'm, I'm getting really good on my recurve, and that is so good, but I really miss my compound. I got all those compound arrows for no reason. But I got a whole lot of recurve arrows. <laughs> oh well. Maybe I gotta use my Labrador's arrows next. Depending. So I'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace for now. I hope you guys had a good time watching my video. And yeah. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Get over here!